it's Nikki and for once I'm actually doing an update two weeks in a row so this is my 37 week update. I went to go and see the doctor today. Uh, I had a CGG scan so the heartbeat uh, was monitored and everything was fine and then the doctor checked my cervix and everything still 100% closed so those stabbing pains have been to no avail um, but at least there's still time to do a few more things. The doctor said that uh, if anything had been happening down below that she would have given me an appointment next week um, but as nothing at all was happening then I still have my appointment for two weeks time uh, which will be five days before my due date and I was kind of hoping she'd be out by then but oh well you never know we'll wait and see um, so yeah as I do have a little bit more time uh, at least from today um, I uh, still need to put up the nursery decorations now that I've finally decided uh, the final nursery layout and uh, <laughs> got Vince to move that around. I think he's happy that uh, we don't have to move anything else around. So um, yeah, happy with that and all the light fitting that I mentioned in my last update. Um, we ended up super gluing it to the ceiling. <laughs> There was no way we could drill through the, through uh, that rock hard ceiling, so uh, we got like super glue and then like this other industrial strength high heat tolerance glue, um, and kind of mixed the two and then just stuck it to the ceiling. So like if the light bulb heats up or anything, it won't fall down. So that's safe enough. Uh yeah. <laughs> so um, yeah, I guess. Um, if I still got more time, then I will pre I will prepare some freezer meals, uh, which I haven't really done a lot of yet. Um, but yeah, our freezer is not huge, so I kind of haven't been making it a priority to do. But it'll be handy to have at least something in there. So uh, yep, that can do that. Oh, and I still need to pack my hospital bag. I'm actually part way through that at the moment. Um, I've got my list and everything and I've got stuff laid out on the bed. I just need to double check it and then actually put it in the suitcase. Um, but yeah. However, if the baby decided to come tomorrow, uh, I guess I would feel ready enough, like even without having done these little bits and pieces. So, um, yeah, because I mean, you can go right up to 40 weeks and still say, oh, I've got this, that and the other to do, but I mean, the baby's going to come when the baby's going to come, so that's it. I, I would feel ready enough um, if she did come tomorrow, but that's apparently not likely. Um, I do a huge grocery shop on Tuesday uh, so that when I go out when the baby's born, I won't have to, like, buy, say, more than one bag of stuff at a time, because... Uh, I imagine that would just be awkward to carry or whatever. Um, like we've got a supermarket close enough that I can just take the stroller uh, up to up to the supermarket itself, and then uh, if I just have one bag of stuff, then that can go down in the basket underneath. I won't have to go through the bother of having a whole trolley load with the baby. And yeah, so I stocked up, and we should uh, have enough to last us. I guess past the first few tiring weeks, um, you know, unless I just have to send Vince out on a Saturday or something to <laughs> go and do grocery shopping, but uh, yeah. So um, I'm actually, I'm not in a huge hurry to get her out. Um, I said if she did come tomorrow, great, but I can I can still wait until the 40 weeks. I think once I get past the 40 weeks, then I will be getting frustrated and like just oh, get out. But I'm I'm not in a huge hurry. Um, only from the point of view that I feel like my poor belly is really suffering from. Uh, I just feel like it's growing exponentially. Um, I I still don't actually have any stretch marks on my belly apart from the little stretch dots around my. Um, appendix scar that I mentioned a couple of updates ago but uh, if it continues at this rate then I feel like 
you know, in the next couple of weeks or so, they might appear, which would be really disappointing because, you know, she could have already been here, but, you know, then the stretch marks might appear. So, I don't know. I'm, I'm really hoping they don't. Um, but, yeah, I was, I was very happy with my weight gain up until about 32 weeks pregnant. And from that time, um, I've just been putting on, like, a kilo a week which is a lot because they say you should put on about a pound a week and a kilo is 2.2 pounds so that's that amount every week um, so yeah I'm just because it's been continuing for the last five weeks like that I've been kind of thinking Ugh. and there's still another two and a half or even more weeks to go hopefully not more but yeah that's that has started to to worry me just a bit because my belly's just getting so huge um, and it's only a short update this time I'll just finish with uh, some symptoms that I had so it's it's kind of a colder day today than it has been recently so my swelling has been quite minimal so that's been nice um, I still have been getting a bit of heartburn um, particularly when I lay down to go to sleep so I've had to kind of sleep in an upright or half upright position and and I can usually manage to find a comfortable position I have like this big long pregnancy pillow and, and that helps a lot um, and but yeah my well because of that I guess my sleep has been generally really good for somebody who is this far pregnant um, it was just last night that I had a terrible night sleeping I'm not actually sure why because the heartburn it was kind of like when I went to, to bed it was bad and then I just kept waking up during the night and um, I didn't have a heartburn anymore but just couldn't get back to sleep and I don't know maybe I had a few things on my mind and but yeah but in general I've been really lucky with uh, being able to sleep comfortably enough um, and yeah, I guess the only other thing, as I said, the the belly just feels like it's getting really huge, but uh, I've also been feeling like heaps of pressure down low and it just feels really heavy because of the pressure. So yeah, that's about all I have to say for week 37 and I'll probably update again next week because who knows, the baby could be here the week after that. So um, I'll see you next time. Bye.